So the second uh, ingredient of a theology of science is the extraordinary human aptitude to understand the structure of the natural world. Uh, this is a surprise. Um, Einstein uh, was fond of saying that the most inexplicable thing about the universe is that it is explicable. Why should humans have the ability to understand the structure of um, the atom, for example? Well, this thought is extraordinarily captured in a beautiful uh, metaphorical passage in the book of Job. There we are in the wisdom literature again. Um, this is an interlude in the book of Job, sometimes known as the hymn to wisdom. And listen how it starts. Surely there is a mine for silver, a place where gold is refined, iron is taken from the soil, rock that will be poured out as copper, an end is put to darkness, and to furthest bound they seek the ore in gloom and deep darkness. A foreign race cuts the shafts forgotten by travellers. Far away from humans they dangle and sway. The earth from which food comes forth is underneath changed as if by fire. Its rocks are the source of lapis with its flecks of gold. Can you see that this poem is talking about miners? Um, but it's metaphorical, because as it becomes late, clear later in the hymn to wisdom, it's a metaphor for human eyes of all the animals, not even the hawk, sharp eyesight, can see the earth from beneath the flecks of gold um, and, and the, the fishes of silver, the precious stones, that you can see if you dig a mine and look at the earth from underneath. Only uh, humans have that aptitude to see the internal structure of the world. Um, and it's that aptitude which later in that hymn is ascribed also to God, who knows the way to wisdom because he sees deeply into the structure of the natural world. So part of being made in the image of God, in imagio dei, is the human aptitude to look into and understand the structure of nature.